What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Smart Money Sundays. It's been a while. Uh, obviously, we had Christmas and New Year's break. Hope everyone had a great break. We're ready to get back to it. We got a full year ahead of us. Very, very excited uh, to get going again with the series, to get going with our VIP group and all of the great products and services that we offer. On that note, we are running a flash sale today as it is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, holiday in the U.S., a flash sale, 30% off all products and services. If you are interested, please send us a message on Telegram at AerialFXTrading and we'll get you on board. This sale only lasts 24 hours, so it will end at midnight tonight. All right, so make sure you hop on board with that offer uh, it'll probably be a while before we run another promo on our products and services. All right, so as usual, we're going to be covering everyone's favorite pairs, that being Euro, USD, GBP, USD, as well as AU. All right, so as usual, we're going to start off on Euro, USD. Now, obviously, this thing had been in a range for quite some time, a very frustrating and annoying piece of price action here to end the year of 2021. But as you can see, we have now broken out of this range to the upside. Quite clearly, we are still overall in a massive downtrend at the moment, uh, but short, lower time frame, we have broken out to the upside. All right. And so what I really want to emphasize here is this level is going to be, in my opinion, a very critical level for the dollar. All right. Where I have this horizontal ray. Okay. I think that if price can sustain above this level, and that's a gross looking drawing, but if we can stay above this level and maintain, then I do think we have it in us for another leg back up to the upside, potentially into 1.15, even up into this daily supply at 1.1580. OK, and so what we really need to do is be patient, sit on our hands and wait for price to approach this level. We have a retest of an old down close candle here, as you can see, a buy to sell to buy. All right. And so this is going to be a high area or an area of high sensitivity for price, as well as an old high here, as well as an EMA 50 EMA daily time frame retest. OK, so a lot of confluences are building around this level. Now, I'm not going to simply place a buy limit, okay? What I want to see here, what I want us to do, and look at that four-hour EMA lining up with it beautifully as well, okay? But what I want us to do is simply wait for the manipulation. I can promise you a lot of retail traders are going to be looking to buy right off of this level, okay? And from our experience, what we can understand is we can be patient as price trades into this level, potentially wait for a fake BOS to the upside, one final run, potentially trading down into this four hour candle, and then that move up to the upside. Okay, so really be patient with this and, and, and confirm it. Look for that kind of tight range, the fake out to the upside, the fake out to the downside, and then the real break of structure. Once that confirms, we can take it on the pullback and ride it up this high being our first target. And then obviously on the daily time frame, we have our old low, our old wick low, and our daily supply as secondary targets. Okay. But again, we really need to pay attention to this level. Okay. Because if we break back down below our daily 50 EMA, we close below this level, uh, below the EMA, below this horizontal line, and below the four hour 50. We could then look at this as simply a manipulative run on the highs of the range, this being liquidity. Could, we could look at this as a run and a buy to sell. Okay, so again, this is why I'm emphasizing being patient and really waiting for price to confirm what it wants to do around this level. Okay, we could very easily get some sort of redistribution where we simply run, run, break structure again, and then we can look to sell it down. Okay, so pay attention to those daily closures, pay attention to uh, how price is responding to this level as well as the four hour and daily EMA. Okay, personally, I would prefer 
one more run up into premium, at least into this low, but preferably obviously the daily supply. Okay, and so really what happens here with EU is going to kind of determine what we're looking at in terms of in terms of cable and Aussie dollar. Okay, so on that note, let's hop over to GBP USD. Okay, now this one is obviously also within a higher time frame downtrend at the moment, and we have traded into and reacted nicely from a daily up close candle. Okay, and so we're having that reaction now. Okay, and so with that, this thing could obviously just die. And in that case, EU would likely be a fake out and would die as well. Okay, or if EU and the dollar decides to respect that level that we just talked about, we could potentially see one more run up on GBP USD, taking out this high, potentially taking out the liquidity resting above this high, failing to close above, wicking into an old sponsor candle to the left, snapping right back down and maintaining structure for another run to the downside. Okay, so again, really key on that Euro USD this week uh, to kind of judge how we're playing these other pairs. Okay, and so this could simply be at the moment a reaction off this up close, yet price might still maintain bullish lower time frame structure and make another run through this high. Maybe continue to respect this candle, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we ran these highs and then traded into an old, old candle. Got to go way back for this. An old candle to the left. As you can see, a nice manipulative candle that ran out significant liquidity here. Okay, 50%, 1.3880. Okay, so those are the levels on GBP USD. Again, wouldn't be surprised if this thing made another run at the high. In that case, likely EU, you know, would follow suit with what we expect with EU being that we manipulate and run again. Okay, and so that is EU, that is GU. Last one I want to look at for us today. And again, guys, I really like to cover these three pairs, uh, especially Euro USD, because everything responds to the dollar. Okay, you can you can understand what the dollar is doing, and then and then relay that to other crosses that don't have anything to do with the dollar, because the dollar is the world reserve currency. Uh, it has a lot of influence on the broader market. Okay, so we really want to focus in on that dollar. Uh, if the dollar is weakening, obviously foreign currencies are strengthening and vice versa. Okay, and so AU at the moment as well. What I want to first point out is the fact that we do have relative equal lows now on the weekly time frame. Okay, this wick and where we traded into this Marabozu here didn't quite take out this low. Okay, so we have relative equal lows. Uh, and from what I've seen in the past, when we experience this, oftentimes it will leave this kind of low intact for quite some time. Okay, but ultimately I expect these relative equal lows to be taken out. All right, but on the daily time frame, you can see obviously with relative to the prior two pairs we covered, this is also in a higher time frame downtrend. Okay, you can see the sell off, the high, low, high, the break of structure. Okay, continuing with the higher time frame trend. Okay, and so this one is not quite at premium levels that we would like. We, we have traded into equilibrium, traded into that 50% with the manipulation running these highs. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if we had another run up higher further into premium before our next sell off. Okay, and so following the lower time frames now, what I want to note is the little mitigation train that we have been following. Okay, so let's mark off our, where is that little tool I like to use? Uh, sorry guys, one second, oh, here we go. So we obviously have high, low, manipulative low, obviously running a old low. We have high, 
we have low, we have high. Okay, so currently trading up bullish order flow here on the four hour time frame. Down close candle, okay, manipulation, excuse me, range, consolidation, manipulation run break of lower time structure mitigation break of lower time frame structure mitigation new high higher time frame four hour okay and so hopping down lower you can see i've denoted with my horizontal boxes a nice mitigation train all right and so obviously we go into this more in our courses i don't know how this is so off we go into this more in our courses the mitigation train uh but basically we like to follow what has mitigated what. Okay, so obviously this is our manipulative push that mitigated our old down close volume, break of structure, manipulative push, mitigate our prior down close candle. Again, mitigation, demand. Okay, and this is our last down close demand that created our new high that I would like to potentially see price trade into. Okay, and so this comes in around seven one six seven four now you know you could place a limit that would be taking on some additional risk but it would be a tight stop loss and it would be our last point of return and then look to take this thing higher for a nice risk to reward to the old high be about a one to eleven i would prefer though that we wait obviously you can see we're having that we're beginning to somewhat consolidate we'll likely continue to do so and then have that run. I would like to see the confirmation of maintaining our demand, okay, the break of lower time frame structure, and then we can take it on the pullback with potentially even a tighter stop loss. Take it here and then run it up, okay, into further premium on the daily time frame, like we just talked about, okay. Otherwise, oops, get rid of this. Otherwise, Okay. It could obviously break down and continue with the higher time frame trend. Again, this is kind of going to be determined by what Euro USD wants to do. Okay, so again, everything in my opinion is going to be determined by EU and how we respond to that critical level that we denoted at the beginning of this video. Okay, so again uptrend at the moment this is kind of our last point of return this nice 15 minute down close let's really wait and see how price reacts to these levels and if we're going to get another leg to the upside on euro usd gbp usd and aud usd all right hope you enjoyed this video hope you mark off these levels take some notes and are prepared for another great week of trading if you have any questions or if you'd like to join our vip service or or take our courses, please don't hesitate to message us at Ariel FX Trading on Telegram. Give us a follow on IG at Ariel underscore underscore FX, and we'd be happy to have you on board. All right, have a great week. Safe trading.